time I've seen North Melbourne this year and it's hard to understand Lou how they struggled against St Kilda and were beaten last week on this performance isn't it that's right uh, they were very uh, well they played poorly last week against uh, Fitzroy and of course their win against uh, St Kilda didn't impress anybody there's one of our old uh, mates uh, Doug Wade isn't it look better with the beard well I don't know uh, he's uh, telling Barry Cable what to do and they're only 18 goals in front <laughs> no, it's been a great performance by yeah, North Melbourne has, today, Bob. and uh, they've bounced back from a dismal effort against Fitzroy. And um, you can only play as well as the opposition allows you. Fitzroy last Monday did not allow North Melbourne to play well, whereas today they've just done as they've pleased. The out outstanding feature about the Swans play over the last couple of weeks has been their desperation, but it's certainly lacking here today. You see Jimmy Cracker now showing a bit of the desperation that we have come to expect from the Swans up here. And that handball out to uh, Hodgman. Just getting over the line before it was thumped down. So we're just about set for the final quarter. And a good percentage booster coming up for North Melbourne, it certainly would appear. The percentage before today was 81 with one win and one loss. It will certainly improve above the 100% mark. The final quarter begins from the Sydney Cricket Ground with North Melbourne having an unbeatable lead of 98 points. The Swans will certainly try and get some respectability into their score if they can in this term. Kelly, he had seven kicks in the third quarter and that's his first of the final term. Up towards half forward trying to find McCann and he does so despite the kick being pretty high. Plus he had six hand passes beside that 13 possession for the quarter. Uh, yes and Kelly ran about uh, two dozen for the match so that's not bad. Stephen McCann with the breeze behind him, well within kicking distance. He kicked a beautiful goal from the boundary in the second quarter. A wobbly punt kick into the goal square. Plenty of Swans defenders are there, but it comes down to Cracker. Beats him out of bounds, and we'll see it thrown in about 15 metres from the behind post. Pete, you mentioned uh, Kelly. Uh, he's opposite wingman uh, Andrew, Andrew Demetrio has had a wonderful game as well. Yes, he's been a fine player. He started off in great fettle and probably has got better. Wild handball comes out to Hodgman. Over towards Schimmelbush. Steadies, gets around three defenders, fires at goal, going very close, and he's put it through for another one, Shimmer. And North Melbourne go further ahead. Oh, I said in the call there, he dodged around three defenders. A very, very skillful player. 21-18 to 5-10, and they lead by 104 points. And some Kelly getting the hand pass over the top. Looked a wild hand pass, but effective because everywhere the ball seems to go, there are North Melbourne players running in there and being there first. Hand pass from Hodgman across to Schimmelbush, and you saw for yourself the result. 104, 144 to 40. Knocked down past uh, Hodgman and also McCann. Carroll nearly had his head pulled off, and he'll take the free kick at centre field for the Swans. Of course, we've mentioned all the good players for North Melbourne, but Gary Dempsey hasn't done a bad job on the ruck because most of the players stem from his knockouts at the centre bounce. He hasn't hardly missed one. Back it goes to Dempsey, the man I was talking about. Chance for Scott to snap at goal for the Swans. It's a high one back there towards full forward. Oh, Law dropped that mark. It was a difficult one. He juggled it, and the umpire's going to ball it up about 10 metres out from the Swans' goal. At the moment, just over two minutes gone, they're 40 points to the North Melbourne team, 144 points. It's a nice drubbing to the Swans today. No one expected this. Picked up by Vernon. He's in a bit of trouble now. Well smothered by Hodgman. Vernon goes after it again. And once again, oh, he's not going to blow the whistle for, uh, for a ball up, but he decided to let it go, and now it's out of bounds. Only about 10 metres around from their goal. But that must seem as though it's about 30 miles for this attack of... Uh, There it comes back to Danaher, out there towards Hansel, and once again the ball is out of bounds. Out of bounds on that uh, forward pocket position for uh, the Swans. Dempsey and uh, Baker to go for the knockout. At the back there, knocked out by Danaher, backing up well as Rams. He's played a fine game. Over to Glenn Denning, David Dents. And as noted about it, when he returns to the side, it seems to steady that... Uh, Defence down. Picked up by Kelly once again. Down there towards Cracker. Windbank got up high. Couldn't hold the mark. There's Ackley, but he's grabbed by Phil Cracker. The ball back to Cruz. Another quiet player. Barry Round. Back to Ackley again on the centre wing position. It's a long kick over there. Half forward line. Dempsey in front. Couldn't hold the mark. Picked up nicely by Braddy. A snap for goal, but it's gone the wrong way. That's how badly they're going at the moment. David Dench after taps it down. Glenn Denning threading his way through the pack. Nearly holding the ball against. He finally picked up by Hansel. Goes for a shot. Off tries to find Baker, and he does. And Baker's got...
They're having a real bad trot today, the Swans. Five goals, 11, 41 to uh, North Melbourne. 21 goals, 18, 144. A nice hiding for the Swans today coming up. Yes, it's a hiding today, but it's giving their percentage a nice old dent. On the other hand, it's giving North Melbourne's a considerable boost, and it's going to be very, very help them, uh, helpful for them in their quest for the five. So a loss here is also probably the equivalent of two. And so far as percentage is concerned, Hounsell taking the mark. Hounsell at right half forward, but he's about 65 to 70 metres out from goal. Round at the back, Braddy in the middle of that. It comes down to Danaher. No, it doesn't. It goes to Kelly. Now towards centre wing. Browning is forced to get there and takes the mark. Mark Browning, left centre wing. Gary Dempsey in front of Barry Round, and the umpire has indeed paid the mark to the North Melbourne veteran. Thought about the hand pass to Hodgman, then he goes back for the kick, boots it in towards the centre circle. Two Swans players missed it, and uh, Cruz was the uh, latter of the two. McCann in there for uh, North Melbourne. It's picked up again by Browning, though. Hodgman fisted down. That was Law. Well, right ran into him. Law picks it up, gives it back to Schimmelbush, who runs into Lucas, over to Kelly. Back to Law. Well caught by Wright, but he rode him into the ground. Kelly again to Keith Gregg on centre wing. They're not making much progress, though, North Melbourne here. Finally, Gregg's kick back towards the half-forward line. The umpire has found a free kick. It's on the shoulder, going to the Swans. And it will be taken out there by Roberts. In towards Bernie Evans. And he's pinched that one. Away from Hodgman. And away he goes. At half-forward, calling for it and getting it is Vernon. Don't know that that achieved much. To Ackerley. Oh, goodness me. Hot in pursuit is Jimmy Cracker. Pushes uh, Ackerley in the back, but the umpire says no, play on. And the ball out of bounds in the right forward pocket for the Swans, about 35 metres from goal. It's going to be Torbett against Dempsey, the two number 24s. Knocked away by Dempsey, he's really done well in the ruck all day. Back it comes toward Abernethy, to Schimmelbush. Abernethy again at centre field, got a good turn of speed up towards half forward, looking for McCann. Dummies the handball, then shoots it long to Jonas. Got a bit of class about him, Jonas. Over towards Phil Cracker, into the goal square. Kerry Good, and Good puts it through for another one to the Kangaroos. What a fan. 22-18, 150 North Melbourne to the Swans, 5-11, 41. Just over the seven-minute mark of the last quarter. Picked up here now by Lucas. Trying to send the Swans back into attack. It's not, oh, fumble that time by Hounsen. Well, that's been... Indicative of their play today, they've been messing him up all the time as we see the kick going up there to Braddy at the back is Glenn Denning, a great mark in defence. Short pass out of this, they're taking risk now right across the face of goals. Dempsey takes an easy mark out for Kelly. Kelly gets a hand pass back here to Cracker and uh, Jimmy Cracker streaking away from uh, his opponent right that time. Gets around uh, Lucas, goes for Phil. Phil's got the mark, he actually marked that between his legs. That's how easy they're going to Abernathy. Abernathy with a long kick up there, looking for good, got the sit on Carter, but punches the ball on and it's through for one point. So it's 22 goals, 19, 151 North Melbourne to the Swans, 5, 11, 41, as the ball comes back into play again. Out there to half back. Torbett couldn't hold the mark. Nearly a free kick around the shoulder that time to, to Scott, but it's finally pushed out from Ackley over there to Vernon on his own. He's got a paddock to go for a bit of a trot here. Takes advantage of that. Goes for a pass, looking for Barry Round. Punched away by Dents. Now's the chance for Round to pick it up. Kicked off the ground by Greg. Round holding his fingers. Must have caught uh, Greg's boot, and the ball is out of bounds on that half forward line for the Swans, about 40 metres around from their goal. Dents and uh, Barry Round to go for the knockout. Round got it back to Danaher. Bork. Goes for a hand pass, it's intercepted, back there to uh, Evans, pushes the ball out now, finally picked up by Phil Cracker, had, uh, out to Jimmy on the boundary line, that's brotherly love for you, a short pass back to uh, Phil again, and he takes the mark out there at half back. Well, they're putting up a woeful exhibition, not much fight at all left in the Swans, that was too high for Demetrio, picked up by Tour, but he's had a bad day too, but he's had plenty of mates. A high one. Oh, an easy mark dropped there by Moore. The ball finally picked up by Jimmy Cracker. A hand pass to Law. 
He loses the ball back to right again. Ramsey grabs him. Back it goes to Vernon. Vernon in a bit of trouble. Gets a hurried kick back there looking for Hansel. Hansel got uh, one in the back of the neck, but finally picked up by Glenn Denning. And North Melbourne's defence takes the ball away very easily once more. Through Abernathy. Tries to get it to Dimitriou. In turnover to Fury. Not the greatest of hand passes. And look at the speed of Dimitriou. He's got it again. Over towards Hodgman. Into the goal square. And Kerry Good has a chance to bring up goal number six. Interchange being affected by the Swans. Coming back on is Gary Baker. Well, the Swans' performance has been poor, but you do have to admire the way North Melbourne have played. Six goals to Kerry Good. Maguire on and Nimmo off for North Melbourne. Interchange being affected by North Melbourne coach Barry Cable as the Kangaroos hold an unassailable lead, 41 to 157. On seventh big league, I'm sure Swan supporters in Melbourne, Sydney or wherever, would be a little bit disgusted with the performance here today, but nevertheless very encouraging from a North Melbourne point of view as Keith Gregg has grabbed. We're not in possession of the ball. The umpire says play can continue. It looked like a, a bit of a wrestle out there, but umpire John Morgan has finally seen fit to ball it up. Now, who's that? Is that Colin Hounsell? Yes, it is. Ball up favours the Swans on this occasion. Roberts grab, we're not in possession. Out it comes to Browning. Browning from half forward is a long kick. That one's no exception. Could almost be a score, but safe in defence is David Ditch. Relishing his return to the side after two weeks suspension. Ramsey cops one from Evans. Stands his ground well. Ramsey had a year at Essendon. Back in home territory at North Melbourne. Mark almost taken by law, but the umpire didn't allow it. It's hand passed out to Dimitriou, one of North Melbourne's best players, who finds Stephen McCann. Very good disposal. Looking for Schimmelbush, the big fellow, in trouble. Well tackled by Winbanks, and he'll be free kicked for holding the ball. So Winbanks in the back pocket. Much improved player from last year, and he certainly had his work cut out for him this afternoon. And it comes to Abernathy. High towards full forward, looking for Kerry Good. Carter's in front. Punches it clear. It's out of bounds and they'll throw in in the forward pocket for North Melbourne. Well, a chance for another North Melbourne score and they're doing this pretty frequently today. 23 goals, 19, 157 to the Swans, 5, 11, 41. Waiting for the ball to come back into play. Torbert and McCann to go for this knockout. Actually, McCann got it down looking for Jonas. Back to Simmelbush, a snap for goal. Doesn't cover any distance at all. They're all flying for it and uh, it's finally forced out of bounds again. This time it's right against the point post but still deep in the uh, heart of the uh, North Melbourne attacking zone. Well, I don't know how you'd pick uh, any good players for uh, the Swan because they're very light on at the moment. Knocked out by Torbert, picked up by Cracker. It's uh, Phil having a shot for goal, marked in the goal square there by Winbanks. Shot right out wide towards Scott, but there's Demetrio again. And what a game this fellow's played, Robert. He certainly played the game of his life, Lou. Uh, took Hounsell apart in the first quarter and he's carried on right throughout the game. There's a nice pass to Jonas. Jonas going for uh, goal number five, four, goal number four. Everyone's kicking goals for North Melbourne, and there's no effort at all for them because there's no resistance to them. There's the kick by Jonas, and that's goal number four to it. Now everybody knows. 13 minutes gone of the last quarter, 24 goals, 90 to 5 goals, 11 to the Swans. The ball kicked back over their half forward line, but there we see David Dent. And he certainly made a difference to that defence. He's put them together well today as the ball goes out there to Browning. Still in a bit of trouble, gets a hand pass over now. Oh, Carroll's too slow, but gets the ball back there to Braddy, but he cops one from Law, and the umpire said it might have been too high, and he's paid the free kick to Braddy out there at half forward. A chance now for a hand pass to Browning. Goes for a long kick up there towards the full forward position. Baker coming across. Went up before acceptance. A hand pass coming back there now from Maguire. They're giving him a run as we see Nimmo take the ball back there towards half back. Had a mark taken there by Braddy once again. Dugdale it was. Yes, Glenn Dugdale coming on as the interchange player. His first run. Likewise, Maguire as the ball was taken away by Steve Torbett at centre field. Looking for Hodgman. Can't find him. It's Shark by Vernon down towards the forward pocket and the mark no spilt by Glenn Dugdale gives it over to Dench back to Dimitriou position number 11 Jimmy Cracker Hodgman 
Phil Cracker missed it, but he'll still make amends. And the short pass taken by Fury. There's no one within 15 metres. Fury can run at least another 10. Fires it deep in towards the full forward position. Looking for Kerry Good. Windbanks is there, though, and this time marks over the top. Ian Roberts. Pass a little bit too short for Torbett. Cruz. From right half back flank. Looks for Danaher. Greg is there. Ramsey. Scoots it out. Scott underneath. Tries to get it to Vernon. Not successful. Now Vernon taps it on. Danaher is there. Offloaded by Greg. Abernethy. To Schimmelbush. Schimmelbush from the circle. Puts in the short pass. North doing as they like. It's like a practice match at the moment. And Jonas takes the mark at half forward. Jonas would be about 55 metres out from goal. And barring injuries looks like having a very very good season at North Melbourne I haven't seen much of him before as Bob mentioned earlier in the commentary he has had two broken legs since coming to Victoria mm. that's a fine kick isn't it by Peter Jonas and puts it through for a goal finishing your home for the best deal on 25 goals 19 North Melbourne the Swans 5-11 ball back to the center now a chance for Braddy they're picked up by Evans it's through the pack nicely a long kick up there looking for Baker and that's Maguire knocking the ball out then. I think that was Maguire I yelled out about before, Peter. Dugdale might be on the ground as well. Dugdale is on the ground, Luke. Both on, Luke. Yeah, well, that was Maguire that I called out before. As we wait now for uh, Dench to bring the ball back into play. Bob, I reckon you've got a very difficult job trying to pick uh, their club votes for the Swan because you can easily pick a guy that could be dropped over the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be hard because there's about 18 blokes up here eligible for that... Uh, uh, the, the famous word when they pick the side, omitted. Finally, it's back to Ramsey down there in the back pocket. A hand pass coming out nicely. It's Abernathy again with the ball at half back. Going for a short pass. And once again, they're doing as they like as Kelly takes the ball. Got a fortnight to get rid of it here. There's not much resistance again. It's been like that all day. And finally, it's Jonas to take the mark out there at half forward. Jonas would be about uh, 35 metres out from goal. He was going to pass, then he's decided to have a shot. He bucked past those votes very quickly. Well, let's see his job uh, up here. He looks <laughs> I, don't want, I don't mind doing the match, but not the club votes today. <laughs> it's on the cards. You could pick a guy and it could be dropped as he fires at the goals. Doesn't quite make the this. McCann, what a beautiful mark. And he's played a great game today. Played at centre half forward and been a top player. Kicked two magnificent goals. We see him go for the mark again. His name was written all over that one before it left Jonas's boot. There's another goal to McCann. And that makes it his third. So the score gradually getting higher for North Melbourne. 26 goals, 19, 175 to the Swans. Five goals, 12, 42. It's a long time since I've seen the Swans or even South Melbourne, they were called that, Bob, play as pathetically as they have played today. Yes, I must, I must agree with you, Lou. Uh, it's been a pathetic performance. And, uh, and they even players who have looked to have life in their legs in, in other games have uh, looked slow and lethargic. Well, already it's the biggest winning margin of the round, and we're only some 19 and a half minutes into the final term. Of course, St Kilda were thrashed by Hawthorne yesterday, but this is a bigger margin in favour of North Melbourne, 175 to 142. Knocked down by Dugdale, taken away by Schimmelbush. At the back is Winbanks with Jonas. Past Browning, it goes to Carroll. Shrugs the tackle well. Carroll gets out of danger, up towards left half forward for the Swans. Cross Glendinning in the road again. Over towards Kelly. Back to Keith Gregg. He's got all the time in the world at half back flank. Looking for McCann. Windbanks at the back, tried to take the grab. Ackerley. Very close to the boundary line, but the mark taken down there for the North Melbourne side by Abernethy. Kerry Good. And plays on. And hit the post. Well, that was pretty casual. Let's give it a go. That hit the post, didn't it? Looked like it. I think it might have hit the fence in line with the post at the back, Bob. Oh. Well, I thought that... I could have sworn it hit the post. Well, I couldn't have. No, the goal was well, let's, uh, we'll watch it let's again. Let's have a look at it. It hit something. Maybe it hit the back fence pretty quickly. And Good playing on. There were no swans on the mark at all. They all just stopped and good played on. No, but the fence Hit the, the fence behind it. There you go. So back into the centre. Another one to Kerry Good. I'll put that down in a minute. Taken by Ross Glendinning. 
A little bit too fast even for us up here. Glendinning back towards left half forward. Fury getting underneath it and takes a fine mark in front of Cruz, or does he? No, the umpire has paid it. And so Tony Fury having a chance to put North Melbourne back into attack again. McCann seemingly everywhere at the moment. And Stephen McCann could just about kick this one. He kicked a beautiful goal from the boundary line before. And of course took a fine mark before he's taken uh, 10 marks so far and 13 kicks number 14 for Stephen McCann might not quite get the distance into the goal square two Swans players are there they could wrap it Winbanks comes down with the ball and he's gone for the hand pass back it goes now to uh, right from Barry round they certainly make hard work of it the Swans Danaher with a chance to mark he's grabbed that one he's gonna go for a hand pass put everyone under pressure we see picked up by right coming around the boundary line even this little fellow is usually pretty sure of the ball couldn't pick it up too well a hand or a kick going out there to Browning another fumble and that's been their pattern of play all day as the ball has finally shot up there towards Baker can he mark this one got his hands to it Ramsey overruns the ball kicked off the ground by Vernon and a through for a point for the Swans so they crowd cheering even points now for the Swans that's how excited they get on their performance here today 5 12 42 to uh, North Melbourne 27 19 189 Ball back there towards the centre of the 181. Can't see you riding too well, Bob, as we wait now for the shot. Oh, there's a shocking kick out there by Cruz. Been a uh, down play today as Cruz gives a hand pass back to Barry Round. He lost it. A chance for Carroll to break through the pack. Goes for a kick, a short pass. It's OK and a mark to Scott. Nearly went off the mark that time. Decided to go back and have a kick from about 50 metres out. It's the kick by Scott. It's a long one into the goal square. Ball flying for that was Torbett getting over the pack, but it's through for one point. And of course, the Swans now move on to 5 14 44 to North Melbourne 27 19 181. There's Apparently, this is their lowest score ever against. Just equal to them with that point. So there's the kick now by Shimmerbush out there at uh, half back, up there towards McCann. It was too high for McCann. Knocked on by uh, Phil Cracker, looking there for Hodgman. Picks it up quite easily. No one there to give him any resistance at all. Oh, Jonas dropped, Jonas dropped that, but he's got a chance to get it back as Carter goes down. Picked up by Demetrio, but the umpire's found a free kick. It'll go to Carter. He was uh, grabbed by the leg, apparently. So Carter to take that free kick down there in the back pocket. Or back out there towards the wing position. Round goes for the mark. It was knocked away that time by Abernethy, and the ball is out of bounds. But the umpire's found a free kick. It'll go back to Barry Round. He's been a very quiet player today, too. Yes, indeed, Luke. Well, he's had plenty of mates. And the crowd are cheering as Barry Round kicks the ball around there towards that uh, wing position. Finally picked up by Kelly, but it's out of bounds. They certainly know their football up here. They give, uh, if you're playing a bad game, they soon give you the ironical cheers. <laughs> Waiting now for the ball to come back into play. And North Melbourne, 27-19, 181 to Sydney, 5-14-44. Ball driven up there by the Swans again. By Lucas, a chance now for uh, Law to mark it, but backing up well as Ramsey. They've done that all day, their defence, and they finally get it out of trouble. Back to the half-forward line. Jonas goes down. There's a chance now for Oof. Ebenethy. Upended. The umpire said he was tripped. And the free kick will go to Ebenethy on that half-forward flank. And... Uh, about 70 metres out from goal. Short pass taken over there by Hodgman. I was just looking through the VFL yearbook for 1983, and North Melbourne's previous biggest winning margin over the Swans was 106 points. That was back in 1974, so they're certainly going to beat that here this afternoon by quite a few points. Kim Hodgman from right half forward flank, about 50 metres out from goal. You can see the distance there. And Hodgman comes in and a chance to put up North 28th goal. Slightly off target and three for one behind indicates the goal umpire and that takes the score to 27 goals 20 182 to the Swans 5 14 44 there's a difference of 138 points there Pete well that will be the biggest winning margin by the kangaroos over the Swans if the book is correct and I've no doubt that that is the case round goes down holding his knee he gets up there quickly to take the free kick from left half back decides to go for the hand pass to Stevie Wright Back towards centre field, knocked away by Phil Cracker, of course, to a teammate in Abernethy, the former South Australian. A fine game too, Pete. He has, looking for Kerry Good. It's thumped away through the behind post by Rod Carter, 
and then it indicates one behind to the ever mounting North Melbourne total 183 to 44 Carter straight up the field looking for Evans can't find him Wayne Carroll missed it another chance for a North Melbourne goal Fury as well shepherded put the head down look for the handball Jonas back to good good shoots at goal but the whistle is gone it could be all clear though free kick to South but who's down there there was a rather violent collision it looks like Bernie Evans it is Evans and he will take the free kick for the Swans just about on the edge of the kickoff line some consolation I guess but very little as we're just about into the time on period now of this final quarter the siren will be sweet music for North Melbourne round misses the mark Dugdale was at the back of the pack there Kelly looking for a handball over to Law in turn Glenn Dugdale brings it short towards the half forward line oh Fury one-handed well they're hard to mark like that but when you're playing like North Melbourne today then everything goes right for you so Tony Fury from centre half forward has another chance for a North Melbourne score. Fury has kicked one goal to date in the match. It's academic interest whether he kicks this one. It's on target and through for one behind. Real women never score. Flank and he'll clear the ball for the Swans. Well, perhaps, Bob, if you had to say, one of their good players would be Roberts. He's tried all day. A hand pass from Scott over to Browning. He's had a dirty day too. A kick by Browning's out there towards that half-forward flank position. But there's too many North Melbourne players. There's Kelly with a hand pass coming back there to uh, Jimmy Cracker. No worries about him getting clear. It's a hand pass back to Ebenethy. As Bobby said, a fine game. A pass there to Phil Cracker at centre half-forward. He'd be about 45 metres out from goal. And, of course, going now for North Melbourne's 28th goal. I don't know whether the distance will be too far for... Uh, Phil, but an awkward style kick, but usually very, very accurate for kicking uh, at goal. Here's the kick by uh, Phil. And the umpire said it's one point. One point to North Melbourne, and they go to 27 23, 185 to the Swans, 5 14 44. Ball back into play. There's a short pass. It's a dangerous one, but it's okay. Marked by Vernon. Vernon's got that mark down towards the back pocket position. Goals have been very scarce for this one. Barry round in front. Punched away by Dugdale. Picked up by Cruz. He's grabbed. A hand pass back to Lucas. Another hand pass coming over to Morwood. Morwood looking for a lead uh, up there towards uh, Baker. It's punched away again. Grabbed by Glenn Dinning. He actually threw that away. Picked up by Morwood again. Runs into trouble. Back to Brett. Here's a chance for a goal. If they're ever going to kick one. No, we've oh. missed the game. They can't get a goal. Five goals, 15, 45 to North Melbourne, 27, 23, 85. They haven't scored a goal this quarter, though. In fact, they've added only five points. In fact, their last goal came up at the 22-minute mark of the third quarter. That's not bad, is it? And uh, nearly 30 minutes gone here, so they probably won't get another one. Makes you wonder, Bob, uh, you know, the future of uh, the Swans up here, where they're very... Uh, short complement of players they've got they've only got to get a couple of injuries and they're real trouble aren't they yes i think uh, ricky quaid would be going home tonight hoping that he can forget uh, today and uh, that it really is one of those days that uh, the swans can't believe ball back into play again out there towards the wing position and a good mark by law law's got that mark and there's the siren to end the match a very easy win for north melbourne they win 27 goals 23 185 and the Swans, five goals, 15-45. And they should be pretty happy, North Melbourne, because after uh, a, a doubtful game against St Kilda the first match and a woeful uh, performance against Fitzroy last week, they've bounced back now with a great percentage boost to Bob. And, uh, of course, that would certainly give the side plenty of confidence. But four marks to a couple of those players, particularly Demetrio. You know, that's probably the best game he's ever played in his life. Yes, from the very start of the game, Demetrio set things up with a great performance. Uh, nearly...